Money, 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 money. This is Jeannie King with Two Minutes It Can Change Your Life, and you might have discovered that we're going to talk about money today. I know, some of you just gasped and tensed up, and that's okay. I don't know about you, but when I was little, money and bill paying was hardly ever discussed except in hushed tones, and the only thing we ever heard was, we can't afford it. That seemed natural. We had six kids, my dad was the wage owner, and he worked very hard and even took on extra jobs. It wasn't until later when I discovered what little I'd learned about money was all wrong, and declaring that we can't afford it just seals the deal. Money is the proof of God's abundance in portable form for us to use. Although bartering for what you want is a great concept, you have to personally turn your crops or provisions into something someone else might want, hoping that they have something you want. Money is a widely accepted form to easily use for what we need and want. In Matthew twenty-two twenty-one, Jesus said, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God." And he even sent one of his disciples down to the sea who caught a fish with a gold coin in its mouth, and that was used to pay their taxes. So do you fear money? Do you hate money? Do you desire money? A quick tip is that money carries intelligent energy of thought and prosperity and also despair over its lack. If you defame money, hate it, fear it, or hoard it, can you see why your energy could be blocking or repelling it? Today, look at your purse or wallet. Is it a mess? Is money thrown in without any thought and in total disarray? Organize your money, and as you look at it and touch it, make sure you give thanks for it and welcome more in. I ask you to please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, True You Group, and I guarantee you we're going to talk about this later on money. Have a great day.